Hey guys, what's going on? For today's review and video, I'm proud to present an in-depth look at the 2022 Dodge Durango SRT392. If you see my review of the 2015 Challenger 392 that I reviewed back in September of last year, 2022, check out the video and I'll put a link down in the description. Anyway, um, this will be a full in-depth review of the SRT392. We will start her up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, show you many performance data, and get some specs on the interior as well as the exterior. And a big thank you and shout out to my friends at Strathmore Dodge for allowing me to come and film this 2022 Dodge Durango SRT392. So without further ado, let's go and start up, let her run. The car does come with remote start. So the car has smart key system, so all you have to do is keep the key in your pocket when you come up to the door handle. There's some black door, like door uh, buttons on the door handles, so all you have to do to lock is just press this button. Or it doesn't really lock, sorry. Or actually, so just lock with the key, and if there's a sensor, go ahead and grab the handle. And no, there isn't. Or I don't think the smart key system works on here, but let's just unlock it with the fob here we go so exterior color is known as winter white beautiful black leather interior what we have to do to start in these vehicles these days is to keep the key in the interior since this is a push button ignition vehicle so keep the key in the interior put your foot on the brake hit the button start Amazing sound. Full leather up steering wheel, heavy grips. This is a eight speed automatic transmission. Backup cameras included with guidance lines. Manual shifting is included, but if you don't want to shift with the shifter, paddle shifters on the steering wheel. Let's go ahead and turn on the hazards and uh, check out the rest of the vehicle. Car will try and let you know that it has loss of the proximity key fob. So the Durango SRT is another trim of the Durango. Last year they had the Dodge Durango Hellcat, or I think it was 2021. There's other trims between this one. It can also include the RT, which I reviewed is well well, it was a 2018 year, which I reviewed the 2018 Dodge Durango RT last year in April 2022. If you'd like to take a look at that one as well, I will definitely put the link in the description box. But uh, let's head back inside and show you the rest of it. Close one. All right, let's get some stuff going. So, uh, you have some storage down here, upper, upper storage as well, if you do this door. There it is. Uh, cup holders, some camouflage um, trim. Black piano veneering. Um, trims around the dash. It looks really good. Uh, leather shift boot on the 8-speed automatic transmission shifter. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, wireless charging. Your storage down here. Power outlets here. SRT performance. Launch control. Your other stuff right here. Um, I'm assuming there's drive modes. Um, I have no idea. Radio, I think, works. SRT logo on the screen. So it's, uh, yeah, remind me later. It does pop it up out of nowhere. There it is. There it is. The radio works, uh, as always. And you have your sunglasses case. Um, I'll just close that up. Um, nothing really else to talk about. Um, SRT steering wheel right here, I love it. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop the hood. Select the previous reviews because of the Daytona Charger and the Challenger 392. I have this car powered by a 6.4 liter 392 naturally aspirated Hemi V8. 
comes up to um, 385 horsepower and about 417 pound foot of torque. This engine is the same in the Daytona Charger I reviewed two variations last year. Or actually, it was just the one, the 392 version. And the 2015 Challenger 392 I reviewed. And uh, it's a pretty good engine. And let's uh, close the hood and hop back inside. Tire pressure is low, but it's okay. Um, I think I fixed it. So uh, this car has 34 kilometers. Not bad, not bad. Um, both signal and windshield wiper on the side here. And you do have some more camouflage trim right here. Uh, white stitching on the steering wheel. Uh, you do have some controls, cruise control right here, set plus cancel, whatever. And you have your hands-free telephone and the uh, settings right here. I'll go to that. Yeah, speedometer, so a uh, really beautiful car. And uh, sunroof, let's talk about the sunroof. So here's the sunroof. I want to get some in-depth looks at that, um, if you like. That's how you open the sunroof. That's how you close it. Close it back up. And then you have your garage button here and interior elimination. And that's your trunk button. And yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I want to see if this bad boy has some drive mode. Uh, that's one of the things I like about this vehicle. Um, tow mode button right there. Pretty good. I have no idea if there's any drive modes. But, uh, uh, let's see how this thing sounds. I just, I just want to see how this baby sounds with this engine. It sounds pretty good. Bad sound. Alrighty, so one more thing. Uh, you do have your visors and interior illumination. Sunglasses case. I think I talked about that earlier. Your mirror and your emergency buttons on the mirror. And you have more camouflage trims on the side of the uh, door here. Memory seats, um, one and two. And your mirror controls, window controls lock buttons, um, whatever it is. And I should mention automatic headlights and uh, back here as well. Um, this is a touchscreen, by the way, so I should mention about this, it's touchscreen. Air vents are available, pretty good car, love it. But uh, aluminum sport pedals. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and shut her down. Now let's uh, hop in the back. Also have SRT badging on the seats. All right, so this is not a three passenger seat back here, but apparently this is a storage console right here, just like the front. Upper storage as well, cup holder storage. Power outlets here, air vents. Pocket storage behind both. Driver and passenger, interior elimination, um, temperature controls. There are temperature controls in the front. I will show you that when I get to the passenger. And uh, let's check out the hatch, as I should. So this is a automatic opening trunk, I'm assuming. This might be an automatic opening trunk, so here we go. It is an automatic opening trunk. And uh, there is some pretty good space in here for like a uh, bunch of this capacity. So to pull those seats up, all you have to do is just pull this up. And then you just do the same thing with the other. This is a six passenger vehicle. You can fit some storage here or whatever. Now uh, I should mention under here. Oh, it's extra storage down here. Incredible storage over there and Check out the passenger seat. Let's go do that. Alrighty, so glove compartment. 
owner's manual. And then you do have like little, like, uh, I think this is a power outlet. Uh, yes, it is, and storage on the side. And, uh, yeah, heated seats and cooled seats actually in here. So, without further ado, let's end the review. Well, everyone, that brings us to the review of the 2022 Dodge Durango SRT 392. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.